Namaskaram and welcome to solving yet another very interesting topic in math, ascending and descending order. But before we begin with solving the worksheet, I would just like to give a small introduction about myself. My name is Charvi. I work in iGebra.ai where our mission is to make the kids fall in love with math, but not with the old conventional ways of learning math, but with new ways, new technologies and keeping up with the pace for the future. So yes, today for grade one students, we have ascending and descending order. I remember back in my school days, I was taught this concept with the help of a ladder. So if you go up the ladder, it's ascending. If you come down the ladder, it's descending. But is ascending and descending just that? Or does it make the concept clearer? Let's just find out. So we have a very interesting worksheet for the same, which class one students can do in order to check their ability and understanding of the concept ascending and descending order. So this is where you can actually download the worksheets on various topics. Okay, so first over here, we'll be solving for today is ascending and descending order and as to how to go about it. All right, so this is for grade one, as I've mentioned. So just let's go on directly to the first worksheet over here, which says, drag and drop the following set of numbers in ascending order. All right, so we know we have ones place here and tens place here, correct? So let's just segregate these numbers based on the tens place. So over here at tens place in this number in 21, the tens place is 2. Here again in 24, it's 2. In 1, 9, it's 1. In 3, 8, it's 3. In 1, 8, 18, it's 1. Am I right? Okay. So now, based on this, we have two numbers, 18 and 19, which are here, which are having one at the tens place. Okay. So now what do we do? How do we arrange? Are those other numbers that are here, these two have two at the tens place and this is three at the tens place. Okay. So let's just make it very easy for us. Since we know one, is the smallest number, then comes 2, then comes 3. And ascending is going from small to big. So what do we do? Let's just look at the ones place now in order to make this concept more clearer. So we have 8 here and in this number we have 9. So automatically since 8 is smaller than 9, we put 8 here. Then we put this number here because other numbers have 2 and 3 at the tens place and this is the only number 19 which has 1 at the tens place. Okay, so now how do we solve the confusion between 21 and 24 now? So let's look at the 1's place again. So we have 1 here and we have 4. Of course, we know 1 is smaller than 4 so 21 will come first, then comes 24 and 38 comes later automatically because why? 3 is at the tens place, which is the largest among all the numbers that are present here. Okay, but how do I know whether I've done it right or wrong? Let's just check it. It says 5 on 5, which means that I have performed it right. So, what happens over here is the time spent shows how much time are you taking to solve this particular problem so that in future you can just cope up with the speed and make it more faster. So even you get a lot of number of moves. That is, you can actually try them again if you feel you're not doing it in the right way. So these are total number of moves or practices that you're doing. Now let's try one move for descending order. That is this. All right. So now what do we do? Again, we'll follow the same same method, same phenomena that we did for ascending. But the only difference is descending is big to small. So at the tens place, the biggest number that I see over here is 3 and 8 because 38 has 3 at the tens place. Am I right? So let's put 38 first. Okay. Now we have three numbers who have 1 at the tens place. So how do we solve it? Now we have to move on to the ones place to solve our problem. So the bigger number that we need to choose out of ones place that is 9, 6 and 1. Of course, 9 is bigger. So 9 comes here. 6 is at the right place. 11 is here and 8 is here. Because 8 is a single digit number. 
all right so now this is my descending order for this but how do i know if it's right or wrong again i'll just move on to check 5 and 5 which means it's correct okay so again i have the time spent that i took 39 seconds to solve this and the moves the practice the time i solved this is just one so the total moves it shows is one okay for example now i do it in a wrong way so what if i just put it like this i'm not able to figure out the numbers and i'm very confused oh uh, i don't know how to do it so what i can also do is i can show solution so i can click on this tab and the correct solution actually comes to me so here is the correct answer for it so even if i falter it's nothing to worry and of course now if i want to practice it on my own i can always click on retry so that the numbers get jumbled up again and i can solve it simply so that's how we do ascending and descending in a fun way so that the concept gets clearer also to add on you can download these worksheets in the form of pdf and solve them and get the concepts clearer and have fun with numbers